Yeehaw, it's YouTube Tuesday. The end of a long day, and uh, we had a ton of rain again last night. And we are flooded again, but um, the way I could tell is I was doing laundry, and we right now we don't have a back uh, porch on the house. We recited the house, and when we did, we took off the old porch, and we need to build a new back deck or, or something. But right now we're using uh, these cinder blocks, and... We want to build something very soon. Um, the septic tank is right beneath, uh, in front of those cinder blocks, and you can see the top of the septic tank has been flooding. Um, that is not a good sign. That means I need to stop doing laundry because <laughs> I'm about to back up the septic tank. So, um, yeah, <laughs> got to be careful. We live in Matthews County, Virginia, and Ma all of Matthews County is a peninsula that sticks out in the Chesapeake Bay. And then our little farm is on a little peninsula, on the peninsula, that sticks out in Mob Jack Bay, right at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. So, uh, very high water table. And so you've got to be conscious of that. Um, although, most of the 22 years we've lived here, it's been very dry. But we're in a very, very wet period right now. Um, I'm going to show you around a little bit. You can look over near where the meditation labyrinth is. And... Um, that whole ditch is flooded. Um, we've had, we've got to build a bridge. We've had guests try to jump that little ditch to get to the labyrinth and, uh, and, and missed and gotten awfully muddy. So we've got to do something with that. We've still got a lot of puddles. It just poured last night. seems like every time we start drying up, it, it rains. It is just being very, very, um, very, very hard. Very hard to farm right now. And, uh, Things just seem like such a big mess. I'm hoping it dries out enough we can mow Thursday because then we've got a, an herbal course starting here on Saturday that I'm so excited about. And I'm hoping the farm doesn't look this ragged, but it'll be what it'll be. Uh, look, look at this water. Look at this water. Um, had a real treat yesterday. Um, being a gardener, you love things to plant in. And um, CA stopped by um, one of the young men that works here. Uh, Jeremy's home yesterday and him and Jeremy loaded up that that nice cement planter that it's a sink it's a cement sink and um, and brought it here and uh, I, thank God they didn't get hurt it wet that thing must weigh a ton and uh, but now nah, I can't wait to plant in there I think I'm gonna do some lettuces and stuff but I still got to get all the herbs off the ground over there uh, where I had them in that low tunnel and get them up on the tables alphabetized and cleaned up get all the weeds out of them clip off all the dead and uh, but I have a I have a friend's gonna come Thursday and uh, and do some work here and and I'm so looking forward to it and I so need her um, so hopefully she can help me get a little better um, get get to looking a little bit better you know um, I, I have to share something with you uh, I, because we're a natural um, uh, farm um, we we do we follow all organic practices and we're not like a regular nursery where you've got where you're walking on plastic on the ground and then you've got all the tables on the plastic. We um, just mow around our tables, but as the herbs are sitting on the tables, they're dropping their seeds. So it's very interesting. I'm going to show you. We actually have not mowed up underneath the tables yet, and we've got all kinds of herbs growing up underneath the tables. There's just a ton of chamomile. I'll show you right here. There's a ton of this, this chamomile here. Isn't it beautiful? And uh, I saw a blessed thistle over here that uh, has some uh, catnips and stuff. Look at look look at that thistle there growing. It's just beautiful, isn't it? And I saw some motherwort growing over here. So I hate to mow because uh, it's full of herbs, but it, it's just kind of cool, isn't it? You know. Um, I wanted to share something with you today. Uh, ooh, there's 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 some uh, some dock growing. Great great liver medicine. Um, but I wanted to show you something today. Um, the difference between dandelion and cat's ear, which is false dandelion. Okay, you have uh, there's a beautiful dandelion growing here next to the wash sink. Isn't he gorgeous? Isn't that a beautiful one? Isn't that beautiful? Now, dandelion is, is high in vitamin K and A and, 
and uh, and just full of minerals and and of course anything is better if you pick these leaves and use them in a salad or something before um, before they go to flower they're always more bitter after they go to flower but isn't that beautiful now dandelions um, are great liver and kidney medicine and um, I've even heard the C word mentioned that they help with all kinds of things and um, they're just an amazing herb now there's another plant called cat's ear that is, looks very similar to dandelion. It's actually known as false dandelion and uh, because it does, and it has the similar properties, but it doesn't bloom as early. Dandelion blooms early. So if you look around right now and you see little yellow flowers, you know you got dandelion. Now cat's ear is not blooming yet. Here's a bunch of them, a bunch of big ones right here next to our pile that needs to be cleaned up. We are definitely not a botanical garden. We are a working farm um, that always needs to neaten up our uh, supply pile. <laughs> anyway, here is the cat's ear. You can see it right there. See? See it right there? Isn't it beautiful? Now see how it kind of looks similar. See how it looks a little like, like uh, dandelion? See how it looks a little like dandelion? Now, it has the same benefits. I, I think a little milder, though. Ooh, there, there's a good one growing right there. I don't eat this wagon. Any pretty. But see, they haven't gone to flower yet. Now, they are high, high in lutein, which lutein's really good for your eyes. And they also make, uh, they're great in salad and everything. But you have to be careful. You don't want to eat too much of them. They can cause, um, you know, have a laxative effect. Uh, but cats here, just like dandelions, very cleansing and detoxing. And they're uh, a diuretic. And, uh, and, as, and I know they add potassium back to you in their minerals, which helps you as you eliminate that water. So they're, they're a good thing. Now, cat's ear will be blooming uh, or come around end of May and June. So right now, if you see yellow flowers, it's dandelion. And then later in the summer, it's cat's ear. You may look around and think, oh, I got a ton of dandelion out there, but it's really cat's ear. But it's fine. You can use either one. Anyway, I tell you, I better go get busy. Jack and Jill are waiting for me. They're like Jack standing there. Come on, Mama. It's time to go do the chores. And he's right. He's right. It is time to go do the chores. Jill's got a piece of straw stuck in her nose. I better go get that out. And then all the animals are waiting back there. So, anyway, trying not to stress. A lot to do. But, hey, try not to stress either. It's just spring. <laughs>